Phrase 17 is an example of the many overdubs Randy tracked while in the studio. Coming out of the halftime rhythm, an electric guitar with its volume low plays the partial D on the 2nd and 3rd string 7th fret, hammering to the partial C on 8 and 9, up to the partial D on 10 and 11, then back to the partial C. Next, increase the volume and walk down from an F5, 5th string 8th fret, 4th string 10, and 3rd string 10. Strum, then drop down 1 fret to an E5, 7, 9, 9, down 2 frets to D5, 5, 7, 7, down to C5, 3, 5, 5, and then an open muted G5, allowing it to ring out on strings 3 and 4. Phrase 18 is very similar to phrase 10 and continues to build up to the solo. Double pick the 5th string open, 3rd and 4th string 7th fret, light bend, then pick the notes again with vibrato, another open 5th string, then C5 on the 3rd and 4th string 5th fret. Repeat C5, then 7th fret D5, 5th string, 5th fret, then 5th fret harmonic by lightly touching the string above the fret wire to fretted 6, 7. Repeat the first half of phrase 18, but for the second ending, play the C5, muted 5th string open, C5, then the 5th string open, hammer to 5, 6, then 7. Repeat the first half. Then the third ending is middle string C5 to D5 to 5th string open and a picked 5th fret 6th and 7th instead of the hammer-ons this time. Wrapping up this build-up to the solo, play the same riff but end on the open G5 in place of the C5. Then dig in for a pick slide down the low strings. We begin the guitar solo with phrase 19 on the 2nd string, 18th fret, with a ring finger bend. Bend again with vibrato. Pick a third time, bend, release, bend, move to the 1st string, 15th fret with the index, to 2nd string, 18, pull to 15, then to the 3rd string, 17 with a bend and 2nd string 15 to 1st string 15 with a bar. Continuing in the same position, phrase 20 has us play the 2nd string 18, pull to 15, to 3rd string 18, Back to 2nd string 15, then 3rd string 18, pull to 15, 17, pull to 15, to 4th string 17, pull to 15, back to 3rd string 17, bend, 
and end on 15. Next is phrase 21 on the first string 17 with a half step bend matching the pitch of the 18th fret. Then we have a slur hammering 15 to 17 three times. Pull off to 15 and end on second string 18. In phrase 22, we bend the second string 13th fret with our ring finger. And as you gradually increase pitch by bending the string, you want to rapidly tap the 16th fret with the edge of the pick. For phrase 23, slide down the 6th string from the 17th fret, then rapidly hammer and pull on the 3rd string, 3rd to open. As you play this riff, you're going to gradually lower the pitch by dipping the bar, then switch to the 5th string, release the bar, hammer to the 3rd fret, and slide up to the 16th fret, giving rapid vibrato. Once again, if you have a guitar that isn't equipped with a whammy bar, you could still achieve this by using a trick that Randy often did himself. The slide down the neck would be the same, and the hammer pulls would be the same, but you would take the palm of your hand and rest it against the upper bout of the guitar's body, and while you're applying the hammer pulls, push the neck forward with your playing hand. Then switch to the fifth string and then third string and release pressure. And as you release the pressure and the open string returns to pitch, slide up the neck, not so far, slide up to the 16th fret. and apply the rapid vibrato. We have an ascending scale run in phrase 24, starting on the sixth string 13 to 15, with slight palm mute, to fifth string 13, 15, slide up to 17, to 4th string 15, 17, 15, release the palm mute, and next you have 3rd string 15, then double pick 17, to 2nd string double pick 15, double pick 18, slide to 20, back to 18, to 1st string 21, pull to 20, pull to 18. Phrase 25 begins on the 2nd string, 20, pull to 18, back to 20, to the 1st string, 18, back to the 2nd string, 20, pull to 18, then bend, 20, adding heavy vibrato. Drop down to the 15th fret with a bend and heavy vibrato. For these bends, I'm really digging in and I'm even getting the strings ahead of them by lightly barring my index finger to prevent any strings from muting there. This way I get kind of a, a rate and those really don't ring out, but they kind of enhance the note that I do want to ring out, which is the second string bend.
All of the notes in phrase 26 are palm muted. Starting with a muted third string, don't fret any notes, just lightly touch the string and double pick. Then play the second string 11 with the middle, down to the 10th fret with the index, then to the third string 12 with the ring, to 10th fret with the index bar. Repeat 11, 10, 12, 10, then drop the pattern down one fret, play in second string 10, 9 to third string 11, 9. Repeat, then drop the pattern down to the second string 9, to 8, to third string 10, to 8, then down another fret, 8, 7, 9, 7, then down to 7, 6, 8, 6, then end on 6, 5, 7, 5. Phrase 27 drops down to the third string fifth fret with a ring finger bend, then a barred third fret on the second string, then first, next is a second string six, pull to third, to third string six, back to second string third, return to the third string sixth fret, pull off to five, then three, to the fourth string five, back to third string three again, then end on the fourth string, five, pull to open. Phrase 28 ends the solo with the same fingerings as the previous passage, but you slide up to the third string, 17th fret, bend, then play the second string, 15, to 1st string 15, to 2nd string 18, pull to 15, and 3rd string 17, back to 2nd string 15, to 3rd string 17, pull to 15, and end with double notes on the 2nd and 3rd string 17, with a bend, release, bend, release, and vibrato. <laughs> 